Edgar was loyal to the end. He told Wick nothing. A stronger man than many would be in his situation. I presume from your demeanor that this was not the end of Mr. Wick's search. Oh no. He'd barely begun. Why on earth did you bring us here, Hex? It has been wonderful catching up, I must say, but there are other matters we could both be attending to. You are the key to a particularly difficult lock. You see, the high table who rule over your hotel and the world beyond it, they're a mask. A polite facade, like all governments, over a simple truth. Power defines our place. Power defines our reality. The High Table has never been shy in this matter. All declare fealty. All must be of service. Well, maybe not all. All who wish to keep their heads? Hmm. The powerful. You see, they don't respect those who bend the knee. They celebrate them, flatter them, give them titles and lands and the illusion of self-determinism, but they don't respect them. Power respects power. To earn a place by their side, a man needs to demonstrate power. Is that why you plucked his en route? An attempt to demonstrate power? Mm, no. See? Killing you on the steps of the Continental, on sacred ground, and fearing no repercussions. That demonstrates power. They will hunt you down. The adjudicator will, will respect me and my birthright. Please continue your story. I wonder where Jonathan went next. Elysium, one of Wu's clubs. Cheap thrills and overpriced drinks. Its only admirable quality is its owner, a brawler named Osborne. Man after my own heart. Wick thought someone like Osborne would know where to find me. But to ask, he'd need to fight his way to the center of a fortress. Okay, now we are in planning phase. Here we can upgrade our suit. So let's see what we have here. Is increase range of push attack by two, cost four coins, and lowering enemy hit chance cost four po coins, and dodge cost one less focus point cost six coins. And what we have here is ten coins in our wallet. So it's pretty much clear what we have to upgrade, lowering enemy hit chance and dodge cost one less focus point. These are the two most useful thing that one should upgrade. Now execute, uh, we are in the second stage of the game. <gasps> Remember one thing, never waste your bullet on the brawlers. You can just let them come near you and then take down, push, strike, whatever you can do. Just do not waste your bullet. Only when you have enough you can shoot them. As you can see I am... I am and stay away from the side of the... Shooters. It is very easy to dodge them. You just have to. Oh my god, shit! I got shot. I really hate it. Let them come in. Brawlers are nothing but just a piece of cake.
and remember one thing the only gun you can reload is your custom pistol which you have from the start there is one extra magazine that will be reloadable and other than that you there all the guns pistol you will find in the game are not reloadable they only comes with one magazine and limited bullets but uh, but that will be enough you will not need any more than that the bullet and the pistols are enough look like i got shot one more time okay now the first area is completed we are heading to the second area let's see what we have here they say that osborne worked his way up from dancer to bouncer to owner an american success story yes though that version of the story leaves out a few unfortunate accidents accidents rooftop falls dislocated limbs gunshot wounds i see Okay now take down the brawler. Oh shit. One more shot. You know this is start of the game that's why I'm not uh, that much good but uh, later in the game I will be able to dodge them very easily. Okay, got new pistol. Remember one thing, you can save your custom pistol by killing one of them and taking their pistol and leave your pistol for later uh, this one have the most bullet that's an easy kill Oh fuck! Shit, I have to use the bandages. I really hate when I have to use the bandages. There are very limited bandages in the game and you will not be able to find... In the later game it will be very difficult to find one. So uh, if you get shot just get die and start from the start it will be very helpful because you will be able to kill them without getting shot after one or two try and that will help to collect the bandages and you can store them. Come on, come on. Oh, they're not coming. I have to go. Whoa, that was a close call. That's a good thing that we get. We got not shot. <laughs> you know, it is very difficult to move. Uh, uh, hit a moving of the moving person. Okay, he's coming. And crouching makes it very easy to dodge their line of sight of shooting. So always crouch. There is a chance you will you will avoid their bullet. Okay, now another area completed. Yeah, this is the th third area of this stage. <laughs> first one is near you so you don't have to do a lot and it is very easy to kill oh fuck i didn't see that coming shit shit yes there is one standing there oh wow one one of them is coming from here oh wow 
always let them come in front of you and shoot them when they didn't see you if they see you their their marker will be pink and if they didn't see you their marker will be white and at that time you will be able to shoot them without getting shot shit he's able to strike me well i didn't expect that but he was too near for me it was like uh, either get a strike or get shot yeah never forget to refocus oh fuck i dodged that bullet shit one more time oh wow finally it is very easy to kill them without getting shot oh no 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 he is able to dodge oh fuck oh there are two of them come on you can dodge them yes it's very easy game you can you can you can really enjoy it it's a, it's a chess game it's just like a chess all you have to do is to maintain your distance and maintain your timing And remember one thing your custom made pistol is the best pistol in the game it got a lot of bullets and it's the last very fast was outraged at Wick's intrusion to break into his club kill his men the young caged bear decided to fight him Osborne's tough but he's not so smart Okay now there's a boss fight Osborne he's just right here not this one this one is a one of his security he is, he got no he is no danger to me okay now the boss is inside as you can see he's moving inside the room uh, i want to let him come near me so that i can take down him and deplete his focus bar as you can see this, there are two bars the lower one is the focus bar and the upper one is his health bar so i am going to do one oh my god there are random enemies are spawning i have to i have to save my ass from them and in the meantime i also have to kill the boss okay they are oh my god they are nearing me i have to dodge shit oh there is a there is a lot of place here you can just run away from them oh now three of them they are trying to corner me oh, okay one of them is dead but i am out of bullets now there are a lot of uh, guns here okay yeah got one come on now i got some bullets here you can come and get fucked by me anybody want there are two enemies left so i have to be a little careful oh my god one of them saw me Oh, the boss one is on the left and the security is on the right. Okay, one more time. Okay, he's dead. I have to dodge the boss. Oh wow, missed the bullet. 
ban it oh my god he's just in front of me i cannot shoot him until i deplete his focus bar fully so i have to go one more time near him and do the melee attack come on you can do it oh my god i am very near yeah this is the time oh my god i cannot shoot this is the worst thing that can be happen shit shit oh now come on give me the option of take down yes oh that's one time if you are near him you can attack him continuously he will not be able to attack you this is the best thing or you can say this is the very easy boss killing thing while he is recovering you can attack him again and again but remember one thing melee damage does melee attack does no damage to boss it will only deplete his focus bar as you can see his health bar is as it is so now we have to shoot him i got five bullets let's see how much damage it can do oh one more take down it will not hurt neither him nor me okay come on one thing is good is that he got revolver which is very slower than my 9 mm pistol okay come on we can do it just okay now he got four health and i got three bullets it will be fun to see who will who will be get killed oh my god one more time he is going to down he is going down okay now i have three bullets oh wow he is killed oh my god he is dead oh wow This is the replay of the gameplay. First brawler is dead. Shooter is dead. Oh fuck, he's able to shoot me. let them come near you it will be very easy for you to either shoot them or do take down but remember one thing if their marker is pink just get the fuck out of here because you are going to get shot and you can predict this by seeing the timeline that who will be able to attack first and remember one thing john wick is faster than all of the enemies but still if you are going to shoot two bullet the enemy can shoot one bullet and that will cause you to health so it will be better to just dodge and run away from them even if you are able to shoot them because that will save your health as the bandages are very limited you will not be able to get one very easily like in this second stage there is no bandage at all okay finally the boss is arrived 
and as you have seen in the gameplay there were three of them who is trying to corner me and kill me so you can see that in 3d now the boss got a revolver which is slow but do more damage so stay away from his line of sight as you can go near to him and just do the takedown it will deplete his focus bar and you can shoot him to death after that that's the second bow